Hi everybody, I'm Mark from Route 249. I'm back again with the Zoom HD16 and we're going to show you some more computer applications. We're going to show you right now how to use this as a control surface for Cubase. I'm not going to try to buffalo you any. I really don't know much about Cubase and I have, haven't have used it much. I used it a little bit, but just to let you know I'm not real familiar with Cubase. Don't expect to learn anything about Cubase here. I'm just going to show you how you can use this as an interface. If you go to the Zoom website, they have a downloadable manual that will tell you what the all the keys do because these all these keys here and here take on new functions. Uh, you might want to get familiar with those if you plan on using it a lot with your DAW software. All right. I, all I did was start this up, and we're going to take right off with it. What we have to do right now is tell it what we're going to do. I, I hooked up already a, a USB cable to my computer and then turned on the Zoom. That's all I've done so far. So now we hit Project Utility. What we're going to do is we're going to tell it that we're using this type of a connection. Whether you use USB or whether you use MIDI cables is up to you. I don't have MIDI cables, but I'll try to explain a little bit of the differences. Uh, you hit Project Utility. It comes up Project, and we're going to arrow over to where it goes to the system. And hit Enter. Uh, we don't want the foot switch. We're going to go here to where it says control surface that's what we're wanting to hook up so we hit enter and now it says control surface USB uh, you could also put it on MIDI but this is just telling it what your control surface is going to use for connection we're going to put it over on USB once you get it you just exit out it remembers what your last one was now on on this just to give you a quick this is your rhythms these are your effects and these are your tools. We're going to use our tools right now. We're going to hit shift and this one says control surface so you hit control surface. Now it's asking you if you want to use the control surface just in case you hit it by mistake. We'll hit our end. And right now it says that it is Cubase. It has MC which is a Mackie control. They also have a generic remote. Now to change those functions you hit function which is this one right here and now it says control setup and you can arrow over back and forth but we want a mode select is what we want so we're going to hit enter and now it says Mackie control uh, the other one is a generic remote the generic remote is for Cubase LE the Mackie control is for LE4 so I happen to have LE4 on the computer, so that's what I want. Once you get it, hit enter, and now it says mode select is complete. It goes back to this record mode. Now you're all set up now for using this as a surface control. So once you do that, you want to start up your Cubase, double click on the icon. I went through the registration of it. They had me download a e-licensor program to give me my license number for my registration well when you click on the window that says to register it walks you through it it's got a, a video and it tells you just exactly what to do and how to do it it's, really it was painless it took a little time but it was painless All right, once you get this window up here you want to do is we'll go under file and we want a new project we'll click on that and what I used so far was this 4 stereo 8 mono. So I'll click on that and hit OK. Now as you remember I set up my trial folder from the last lesson. So here, here it is. It's already highlighted. So I just hit OK. Now it comes up with this. And our faders now will work these. As you see these these will go down, this is one, two, three, and four, and these are the faders for those. 
and this is one you can see the fader moving up and down I hope you can see it then now the number two number three we're on number one it's already highlighted to records down here you have your record play stop then rewind and fast forward and those all work these arrow buttons on your directional pad here will move you up and down if you were to hit record and we were you see it's recording and uh, probably can't see it very well but we'll see it here in a second I stop it and I can rewind it if you go down to the bottom and you can pull these down so you can see a little bit more of it if you go up here uh, to your zoom you can click on it and it spreads it out I guess I can turn this up here and you can probably hear it we'll hit play Alright, you stop and uh, rewind. Okay, if you don't like your recording that you have, you hit this button here. It's uh, actually your insert effect, but it, it will erase then what you put on it. And every time you hit it, it will erase the last one that you recorded. Usually I open up these windows a little bit. I'll, I'll lay down three tracks here. Okay, now I can take this up to that one or I could have hit the fader of the one it would go to it also I would like to say I do not have an interface for my computer if you have an interface it makes this all sound much better than what I'm doing I'm just using this cam system on the computer to record it so it's not very good recording if you're ready so am I hit the record icons down here at the bottom that do the same thing. There's your record, your play, stop. Uh, this is a looper. Uh, these things here are uh, fast forward and one of them is to all the way to the end or all the way to the beginning. We'll just go all the way to the beginning. And if we want to hear it then, play it back. Here we'll hit play. all zoomed like that I can go up here to my edit and go down here to the bottom it has zoom and over here it gives us some options here to zoom out is G on the computer zoom in is H so I could use those as well so uh, we'll just make sure we're clicked on this one and I'll hit G and it'll compress this all back up again and we or if I hit H it'll take it back out okay so just showing you some of the things that they have now. We'll lay down a guitar track here. We'll just hit the second fader here and it'll be ready for recording that one. Right, we're at the beginning, we'll hit record and off we go.
the beginning. We drop down to another channel. Give us a little different sound. And off we go. Record again. of the in the beginning of the project utility and setting it up for hooking up your USB cord and or MIDI cables um, and hooking it up for your Mackie control that's done it's always going to remember those things in your system and you won't have to change them unless you want to change them to something different as one last thought this is also capable of being used as a control surface and as a mass storage unit at the same time but only if you use MIDI cables and that's kind of nice to be able to take some of your projects that's in here on the fly and throw it in there and because it, it can use this as your hard drive and it, an extended hard drive for your computer so you can also take that information and throw it back and forth any way that you want to. You can load it into your uh, Zoom or you can take it out of the Zoom and put it in on that as you're working with whatever project you happen to be working with. So that's a nice feature if you have the MIDI cables. So that shows you how to use this as a control surface. Now whenever you're done with doing whatever you happen to want to be doing, you just hit shift and control surface and it says here control surface terminate we're going to terminate it and now you're no longer connected to that now all of this is just working like it normally was so i hope you found this informative and helpful and uh, we'll see you next time where music meets the highway of life at route 249 you take care <laughs>